Well, that's not good. Yeah, there's not supposed to be air underneath the bunk. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have a little project. Uh, turns out my one bunk is cracked, and after further inspection, the other bunk is kind of rotted as well. So uh, we have a little project. Build new bunks and tear the old ones off and put new ones on. And uh, we'll show you how that's done shortly. But stay with us. Let's get this job going. Okay, so my bunks are 10 by 6. So I got a couple 12 foot boards. I've already painted them. You know, so I like to paint the boards just to kind of seal them from, from uh, getting wet so many times. But I'm going to get these measured out and we're going to cut them to fit. And I'm also going to kind of bevel the edges of the bunk. Uh, primarily because it will not have corners that way to uh, get chewed up on the carpet. So you just take these ends and you cut them down, bevel them, and uh, that way it makes launching the boat easier because the boat's not rubbing on the carpet as much on a corner, on the edge, so the carpet will last longer. So, yes, I've done this before on a different trailer, but let's get this job started. Okay, might not be pretty, but it's done. So we get the edges beveled. So we wrap it with carpet, um, and the boat launches on and off the trailer. We don't have a sharp edge for the uh, carpet to get tore up on. So now we have to get the uh, bunks matching the uh, length of the bunks that are on there. They're just shy of 10 feet, so I'm just going to line it up and mark it. Okay, so this would be the front, and I got them beveled as well. And I got them cut to length. So, and it's getting dark, so 
I'll pick this project up later because we have to cut the carpet, glue it, and uh, staple them all on. Okay, now I gotta measure and cut the carpet. And then put the glue down. I paint the ends of the board white. These will be facing down, that way I'll know which end is the uh, back end. And uh, now we just have to uh, measure this out and get them boards wrapped. And hopefully done tonight. It's another night after work. So I only got like an hour or less, but let's get it started. Okay, I got the one side laid out as a template, and I'll cut the other side identical. That should match up. <laughs> it better match up. And uh, I just have to glue it down and staple it. So let's get the other side cut, and uh, let's lay these down. Okay, got both carpets cut. And the reason why I drew around the boards of the marker is so I can center it on the carpet. So I got the side that I want up facing down right now. So this will be the spot without this leaves. <laughs> this will be the side that's gonna be contacting the boat. And we're gonna glue, put glue down on both these boards and then uh, flip them over and then glue them again then uh, start stapling okay the glue I'm using is this a universal flooring and vinyl flooring adhesive um, just for carpet it's kind of universal it'll work just fine and uh, we'll put on thin layer let it tack up a little bit then roll the board over on the carpet then we'll put another layer of glue down on the other side of the board and uh, we'll get this done Okay, well, they're tacking up and it's starting to get dark. So I'm gonna fold these over. I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way to the edges. That way I can trim off any excess that there is. So let's uh, grab the stapler and start stapling down this carpet.
Okay, got one side all stapled. Got the ends of basically folded over like you're wrapping a gift and staple it all in place. But I staple about every two inches on each side of the carpet and then about every four inches down the center where it overlapped. So, got that side done. It's getting dark. So, I'm gonna finish the other side without filming because it's getting dark. But this side's all tacked up and glued. That side is pretty much done. So, I'll uh, continue this tomorrow and hopefully we'll be uh, bolting these on the trailer tomorrow afternoon. So, gotta work about half a day, but we're gonna get this done before the weekend kicks in. Okay, we got the bunks all set to go. Here's the old ones. And uh, yeah, like right here, that was shot. Um, I think farther down, I'm sure they're here too. Yeah, that one's pretty shot too. Yeah, yeah. So good thing I brought new hardware with, but we are going to uh, unbolt these ones. The boat is down there. Um, where the other people are putting their boat on the trailer and uh, we're gonna take these off and change them out. Okay, give you an idea of the old ones. Look how rotten the ends are. They are rotted out. And the one board on the right side was actually pretty solid all the way down except for the end. And the other side, there's cracked in the middle. Um, so, yeah, these boards are pretty bad. The ends on the front end is actually pretty good is the rear of the boards actually I'm sorry the front of the boards both rotted out so we have them off I just gotta line up the other ones which I'll use a ratchet strap to tie them down then I'm gonna kind of pre-drill some of the holes so I don't split the wood but I suppose check this a little piece this one is missing a screw but I brought extra screws with and I'll pick up all the old hardware when we get done and clean up our mess. So let's get started and put these new bunks on. Okay, the reason why I put ratchet straps on them is to keep them center so I can drill pilot holes. Not all the holes, but some pilot holes. And uh, the boards will not move. So let's uh, start getting the bolts all put in.
Okay, all the pilot holes are drilled. Now I just have to bolt the boards on. Got this pack of uh, 33. I don't know why they give you 32, but all I need is four, eight, 10 on each one. But each mount has an extra hole, so I might actually do six per bunk. So, or uh, six there, six there, 12, 15. So I might actually do 15, but we're gonna do the 10 initially and go from there. So let's uh, start putting them in. Okay, I decided to go with the extra bolts on each one. So, I think I can get a shot from underneath. <laughs> so there's extra, so there's six bolts per mount. So you got 12 and then three on the back there. So 15 total, so. Hopefully that should do it better than the original. Okay, now I'm just gonna measure everything, make sure it's all correct. So about 21 inches. 21 inches, it's the same there. Okay, there's the finished product kind of a gray blue look to them but they're underneath the boat so no one's going to see them unless the trailer is parked but the trailer is kind of looks black but it's actually like a dark blue so still matches and uh yeah here's the old ones which i'll cut in half throw in the back of the truck and strip the carpet and burn them for firewood Well, new trailer bunks on the trailer. Um, I have a Crestliner 1750 Fish Hawk and a Crestliner matching trailer. So, Crestliner uh, made by Eagle. So, the bunks are just bolted on. Uh, the wood is treated and I painted it. So, to make sure it all worked out perfectly. Then I measured everything, made sure the measurements are all correct. And so now we have a new bunks on the trailer, so the trailer is good as new. But hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.